everyone. So today I have a book haul for you. It's a total of seven books. Some uh, were sent to me by publishers, the rest I bought on a special book outlet trip, so I'll tell you more about that in a minute. But let me talk about the first two that I uh, got sent from Penguin. The first book that I requested was The Accident Season by Moira Fowley Doyle. This is about a family that every October they become very accident prone. Some years it's just cuts and scrapes and other years, as one instance, the main character's father dies. So it can range in seriousness. Now of course next October is coming around but something different is going to happen this year and maybe we'll actually find out why this family is so accident prone in October with the history is behind it. I'm sure there'll be a little romance too, just like good old YA. The other book that I received is The Golden Specific by S.E. Grove. This is the second book in the Glass Sentence trilogy. I started reading the first one a bit ago and just wasn't feeling it at the time, but I know that I will read it eventually and so when I saw that the second one was being released soon, I requested it because, hey, once I finish The Glass Sentence, I can just start reading The Golden Specific. It still follows the same characters as the first novel, Sophia, her friend Theo, and sort of the journey to find Sophia's parents. The adventure continues with this one and I look forward to getting to it eventually. The other five books, as I mentioned earlier, I I got at Book Outlet. Now normally it seems on, on YouTube, on BookTube, that people order from Book Outlet and gets delivered to their house, but where I live I actually don't live that far away from the Book Outlet store. So there's this one store and it's huge. It's a pretty nondescript building, but once you go inside it's just rows and rows and rows of books and they're organized by genre and all of them are at awesome prices. I had a gift card, so I used that up and got myself the other five books for this book haul. I spent a long time in there. I'm not totally sure, but it was definitely a couple hours I spent browsing those shelves because I had to see everything and see what kind of deals I could find. And I tried to keep, you know, things under control, so I ended up with these five books that I'm going to show you now. So the first one is A Short History of Women by Kate Walbert. I actually haven't heard of this book but it was apparently in the 10 best books of 2009 for the New York Times book review and it follows five generations of women in America in like the early 20th century to the early 21st century and their stories and what happens with them. And it just sounds like a really interesting way to see how this family comes together and how these women live their different lives, decide to live their different lives, and to see how that, you know, changes over time um, as you go through the 20th century. It's actually a really short book, but I feel like it'll pack a pretty good punch. The second book that I picked up from Book Outlet is Notes from a Small Island by Bill Bryson. This is another one of his many uh, travel novels. This one he spends seven weeks traveling throughout Britain as sort of a last goodbye to the country before he goes back to the US. This is one of the ones I've actually been trying to get my hands on for a while and I was really excited when I finally found it. This is one I've heard a lot about and although it might not be as, as widely loved as his A Short History of Nearly Everything, this one has still got a lot of positive reviews for it. And I just I really enjoy his writing. Some of it can be a little cynical at times, but I just I en I enjoy hearing about his travels. It's such a it's such a comforting read whenever I read Bill Bryson. The next book is Brain on Fire: My Month of Madness by Susanna Callahan. This is a nonfiction account of uh, the author's sort of struggle with one day waking up and realizing that something is very very wrong with her and no one really knows why. It sounds terrifying but also intriguing. She actually won an award for this for excellence in journalism for feature writing because this was an article that she wrote before turning it into a novel. I've only heard good things but it just sounds like it'll be one of those really really gripping reads where you're like, you know everything's gonna turn out okay, or at least relatively okay, but it's still really scary because no one has any idea what's going on. The fourth one that I picked up at Book Outlet is Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. I've never actually had the chance to read this book, it's just with school. I always ended up reading different novels when this one was offered, so on and so forth, so I figured it was probably time to get it and read it for myself. This is actually the 60th anniversary edition, so the novel, if you have not read it or are not aware, follows this one man who's a fireman, but this isn't sort of a dystopian 
setting so he's not saving houses from burning down he's actually burning books and burning the houses that the books are held in and it's you know TV is everything and books are bad but of course he meets this one person who helps to open his eyes to the situation and because this is the 60th anniversary edition there's actually a foreword by Neil Gaiman and a bunch of critical essays and writings at the back of the book by a couple famous people Margaret Atwood is one of them I feel like when I read this book it'll actually be very educational almost like I'm in a classroom setting again because I'm getting all that stuff at the beginning getting the actual novel and then getting all these thoughts at the end so that way it'll feel like I'm in a reading group again lastly I picked up The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. This is an urban fantasy that takes place in Scion, London, which is just a version of London, I suppose. And in this setting, our main character, Paige, she's a clairvoyant, but being a clairvoyant is a bad thing. You don't want to be found out as one of those. Then, of course, something happens and all these things go wrong and she has to sort of make her way, you know, come into her power of clairvoyancy, but also navigate her way in this world that isn't really made for her. I used to be very big on fantasy, especially when I was younger, but I haven't been reading it as much lately, and I feel like this has the potential to really get me back into that fantasy vibe. Therefore, I have high hopes for this one. All right, so if you have read any of the books I just talked about, feel free to let me know what you thought of them down below. This is sort of becoming a trend, but let me know what book you would like me to read next of the ones that I just showed you, and whichever one gets the most votes, so to say, I will pick pick up next and do a review on it. As always, all of our links are in the doobly-doo. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you later.